Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, well, where can you get the Emulsion package for a upgrade or force your computer to 25H2 if you want to? Some people have asked me if there was a way. And of course, um, I'll tell you about, once again, the ways that it can come to you and the best ways to um, use. But if you're a tech enthusiast and just want to jump to 25H2 and go for it, even though it's not showing up, there's an easy way to do so. So first of all, remember that 25H2 should naturally come from your Windows updates. So from Windows updates, if you uh, click the check for updates, you should be getting a, um, a update that says you know, 25H2 is ready. If you don't see it, you can actually turn on here, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. When you turn this on, uh, this will actually force the updates uh, to your uh, PC a little faster. You, sh you might see 25H2, but then again, you might not. So that's the other thing. It is possible that you might not see it even with this switch on. So. Technically, that's the best way to do it, and if you don't see it, wait. It is also the best recommendation, usually. Just wait. Uh, there could be you know, problems, uh, even though right now we don't see much of any problems happening. Uh, you never know. It's a new um, you know, system. It's a new uh, feature update. Enables stuff in Windows 11 that you know, don't know, might have problems or not. So, of course, that's why it's better to wait until the telemetry from your PC tells Microsoft, yeah, this, this should be safe here. Now, that ain't what you want to do. Uh, you want to have 25H2. If it doesn't show up here, what should I do? Well, here it is. You can go here and the uh, pureinfotech.com webpage in this article uh, we have the information in the um, enablement packages that you can download to actually get 25H2 on your PC. So if you go down the page, you will see that uh, around here, enablement package for version 25H2 download, you have two enablement cap packages. One is for the uh, ARM64 versions, if you have one a PC like that or with Copilot plus PC machines. But for most of us, we use the AMD and Intel X64 version. Um, even if you choose the wrong one, don't worry, they won't work on the other computer. So if you choose the wrong one, it uh, will not want to install. So you download the enablement package. Once it's there, you click on it to install it and it really is very quick it will actually have a little progression it's going to take i don't think on this machine i think it took i don't know 15 seconds and it was already uh, asking me for a restart once you restart you will be at 25h2 two things that you can do to check out if you are one is you can go to the windows update and check the update history and you will see that you updated with KB5054156, which is the enablement package. The other way you can check it out is simply uh, type Winver for Windows version. And here you will see on this Winver, uh, Windows version um, window that you're on version 25H2. And your bell number will have moved up to 26200 rather than 26100. The ending will be the same, 6725. So this is how you can force it. I will share the link to this Pure Infotech page in the description below, and you can go and check out the enablement package. Like I said, it is a matter of seconds, not hours. This is a very, very small package. All it does is go in Windows, change a few things in a registry to turn on 25H2, and restart your machine as all of it is already on your PC. So even if you're not on 25H2 right now, it just shows you that everything's there. It's just, it just needs to be turned on. So that's how you can force it if you wish to do so. But the recommendation always, including mine, wait 
for it to appear at some point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.